welcome campers to another video and as you can see by the title this is gonna be my camp enchanted tbr Enchanted, we're gonna read five books because that is what we need to read to get the book Dragon Badge. And I need that thing. <laughs> I need it badly. So <laughs> I have tried to choose five short books to be fair and to be honest to you. For what I think is the cutest batch of all, the Adventure Badge. I'm going to read The Adventure Is Now by Jess Redman. Great adventure make true friends. And that's why we're doing this camp. Sometimes it's hard to be Milton P. Green. He says all the wrong things and everyone at school avoids him because of the very embarrassing bird brain incident. But when Milton plays his video game Eyes of Wild, he becomes Seahawk, the brilliant explorer. When Milton swaps his game for the remote Lone Island for the summer, he discovers that it it is shock full of spectacular species. Can he become a great explorer himself and meet some fellow adventurers? But Lone Island is in peril and the only thing that can save it is a guide of cryptic clues. So Milton and his new friend set off on a race to solve the mystery in a wild and thrilling adventure. So it even has adventure in the title. I think this is perfect for the prompt read an adventure book. <laughs> and then not for any prompt particularly, but I need to read five books and I want all summary books. So I chosen Jack's Secret Summer by Jack Ryder. And in the first days of the summer holidays, and as yet, and as yet Jack has no idea about the secret summer gang or the old empty house full of magical secrets. Or the strange girl who lives there and is about to lead them all on an adventure they never forget. So this will also count for the adventure badge. It's, look, it's a magical summer adventure. I needed to read this. So we're gonna read it. It's 229 pages. And it, it looks like this. <laughs> We can do this, we can do this. So get the adventure badge. That's right. This is the big sticker, by the way. It's almost, you know, as big as my half. I thought I had a schedule when, which day I was gonna read this book for weeks, but I, I lost it. Um, so <laughs> we're just gonna talk about the book. The first book I will be reading probably on the first day is Lumberjanes volume one. I got the Dutch edition. It's a graphic novel. It has pretty pictures. I like the art so far. I have seen that in the first book, in the first page, there is someone with a red hood in the forest. I I think that's an odd to Red Riding Hood. I already love it. And the fun thing is these girls are earning badges as well so there might be a badge they earn that i absolutely love and we'll see in the next camp edition this just looks good and then i know this very diverse i know there is lgbtqi plus characters there is asian rap i believe i think there is a person with a darker skin i heard great things about it and that's actually the reason i want to read it's about a camp it sounds perfect for Camp Enchanted. And then I have two audiobooks. Not really. <laughs> I have one more physical book, but it's still on the way. It's How to Almost Ruin Your Summer. This is the group book for Camp Enchanted. There will be a live show for this book later on, probably the week after, just to keep the camp feeling for a bit longer. And it is about Chloe, 
she knew a summer camp where you had to learn a career was a bad idea. She tried to tell her parents, but they just had to go on vacation to Alaska and ship her off for two weeks. It's not ideal, but she's going to try to make the best of it. She might even learn some skills that will be will help her make money for the new bike she's been eyeing. But Chloe click, quickly discovers there's only one area at which she excels. She manages to get more demerit, demerits than any else in camp. Uh, top three reasons why Camp Minana is the worst. The spiders. <laughs> Way too many lags. King Arthur, a rampaging goat intent on my destruction. And Victoria, aka the diva, an evil cabin maid obsessed with French beauty products and my humiliation. It sounds like a lot of fun. Josephine found this. It's also a very short read. I think it's going to be a fun read. So that's the fourth book on the list. And then I have one that I've been wanting to read for a while because I wanted, I have been wanting to read Lumberjanes for a while, but the graphic novels are a bit expensive. But apparently they have a novel version. Let me find it because I have it on audiobook. And it, it looks good. But I want to read that after I've read the Lumberjanes graphic novel now. I'll probably do it either whilst gaming or crafting because I need those bitches as well. <laughs> it's Lumberjanes Unicorn Power. Welcome to Miss Quinzella Tisquin's Peniquil Tistle Crumpets Camp. Excuse me, that's a mouthful. For hardcore lady types. I love that. The five scouts of Renuka Cabin, Joe, April, Molly, Mall, and Ripley love their summer at camp. They get to hang out with their best friends. Earn Lumberjane Scout badges, annoy their no-nonsense counselor Jen, and go on a supernatural adventure. That last one, a pretty normal occurrence at Miss Quinzella's, where the woods contain endless mystery. And I love that. Today's no exception. When challenge loving, April leads the girl on a hike up to the tallest mountain they've ever seen. Things don't go quite as planned for one. They didn't expect to trespass into the lands of the Asian cloud people. And did anyone happen to read those ominous signs some unknown person posted at the bottom of the mountain? Also, unicorns. This hilariously rollicking adventure series brings the beloved Lumberjanes characters into a novel format with brand new adventures. This audiobook is four hours long on normal speed. So when I bump it up, it's going to be probably three, maybe even less. That is easily done, and I think I'm gonna love this one. So, those are the five books I am planning on reading <laughs> during Camp Enchanted. Let me know what you will be reading. What batches will you try to get? At least, which one is your favorite? And I'll see you on camp. Bye!